Imagine spending a day on the bus just to get groceries. One Peoria woman without her own means of transportation says that's her new normal. Earlier this year, two Kroger stores closed in her Peoria neighborhood, leading many to complain that it turned that area into a food desert. Our own Monica Murphy explains. Mary Hayes is 69 years old and she's lived on the south end of Peoria since 1998. And today we just wanted to walk in her shoes. She says bottom line, something has to change. The Kroger closures on Harmon Highway and Wisconsin Avenue came as a shock to many here. It was just a gut punch to the stomach. And emotions are still very raw. I am very, very angry. Hayes used to just walk up Laramie Street to get groceries at the Kroger on Harmon Highway. Now the journey is a little more exhausting, she says. It takes two hours, one way, to get food. She leaves her house before two, wheeling that metal cart and her coupons, and catches the bus on Laramie. This is unheard of. It's not right. This bus goes to the transit center, then Hayes catches another bus that goes to Sheridan and Lake. And it seems so unfair to the people that live in 61605. Others think so too. The elderly, they got to get on the bus or whatever, and then you can only carry how many bags. Yeah. So pitiful. We are a part of this community also. Hayes arrives to the grocery store around 4 o'clock. She does big grocery runs at the beginning of the month. And the things that I run out of, I have to come back several times. Weekly, in fact, here she's picking up frozen veggies, meat. I'm looking for cool whip. She watches the clock closely. If there's a long line, I may miss the bus and have to wait 30 more minutes for the next bus to come. She checks out and then she does it all over again. But she's not the only one. It has been a hassle getting groceries home to my family every day. Another two-hour bus ride home for Hayes, hoping her groceries don't go bad, she says finally home. So it takes all day to, to just do grocery shopping. She says she hopes something will change, but until then, he says she'll keep at it because she has no other choice. Following her journey this afternoon was certainly an eye-opener to the challenges that some citizens face. Hayes says community leaders need to step up and take action. Back to you.